Coaches and players continued kneeling during the national anthem over the weekend. There were a few notable exceptions. Orlando's Jonathan Isaac and Portland's Myers Leonard both stood while the rest of their teammates kneeled in their respective games. An outspoken Spurs coach, Greg Popovich, also stood alongside assistant Becky Hammond in San Antonio's bubble debut. When asked about his choice after the game, Pop said, quote, I'd prefer to keep that to myself. Everybody has to make a personal decision. So, Shannon, do you have a problem with anything that you saw? No. Um, I just wish the media would stop focusing on it. Um, the, you're, you're focusing on what some people view as negative. If the guys don't want to kneel, that's okay. That's well within their rights, Skip. Just like the guys that do take a knee, that was within their right. The guys that don't, that's within their rights. I think there's far too many positive things going on because, Skip, every press conference that I've heard, guys have mentioned why they're in the bubble and what they're trying to bring attention to. Mm -hmm. So they've kept the focus on the things that, is, that it needs to be on. Miles Leonard, you know, he, he says he has family in the military. Okay, that's fine. He says, look, I talked to UD. I talked to Ig Iggy. Uh, Andre Iguodala, and uh, they explained to me, and what he's doing, he and his wife has donated $100,000. Skip, the Supreme Court says felons, they, they gave fel a felons, convicted felons, their right to vote. But if you have outstanding fines, you can't vote until they're paid in full. So LeBron James also has donated money. His foundation, Miles Leonard, there have been others that have vote, donated money to the, uh, uh, the, the, I think it's in Florida, that to get these fine paid so these guys, these young men and women, will have the ability to vote. Skip out of, look, let's not vilify, and Charles said, let's not vilify people that's not kneeling. Charles Barkley. Charles yeah. Barkley. Mm -hmm. Let's not vilify those that are not kneeling like they vilified Colin Kaepernick that did kneel. Mm. And at this point in time, Skip, I want to make something abundantly clear to people. There's two things at play here. What's going on right now, Skip, is a demonstration. A demonstration is there's nothing to lose. There's no chance of being arrested. There's no chance of a fine. There's no chance of being suspended. Colin Kaepernick protested. He lost his job. Muhammad Ali protested. He lost three years of his career. John Carlos and Tommy Smith at the 68 Olympics back power. That was a protest. See, a protest, Skip, you have to be, you have to be willing to lose something. Mm -hmm. Either your livelihood. John Lewis protested. Got hit upside his head. He almost lost his life. Mm -hmm. Dr. King, when they was doing these marches in Birmingham, when they was doing these sit-ins, that's a protest because there's something at stake here, Skip. You could be arrested. Mm -hmm. You could be killed. You could lose your job. These are demonstrations. Okay. There's nothing to lose here, Skip. This the up Because guess what the NBA said? We have a rule that you need to stand. I think it went in place in 1981, but we're going to lax the rules and says, okay, mm -hmm. we understand. There's no threat of losing your job. There's no threat of being arrested. So there's two things at play, a demonstration and a protest. Okay. This is a demonstration. Got it. Okay. I'm going to walk through each of these, these decisions made by three different people Correct. one at a time. Let's okay. start with poor Jonathan Isaac. And I say, God bless you, Jonathan Isaac, because he tore his ACL right. last night. So this happened before he tore his ACL, mm -hmm. the game before. Obviously, he was the first obviously young black player in the NBA right. just to say, no, I'm not going to kneel and I'm not going to wear a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. Right. He was recently uh, ordained as a minister mm -hmm. back in just March. Right. So recently he became mm -hmm. a minister. And his point was basically that all lives matter, which is a flashpoint that you didn't love, no. right? And no. a lot of people no. in Black Lives Matter right. movement did not love mm -hmm. that. But he's saying all lives are supported through the gospel. So I, I don't believe this is the way. He, he obviously said, I, I'm, I'm for black lives. I'm for all lives matter. Mm -hmm. So again, you've had issues with Christianity because over the years, back through history, Christianity has been used, to, the Bible has been used to rationalize slavery and other, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of demeaning of the of uh, black people. Of people, Oppression. Yes. So are you okay with this one young black man saying, well, no, I see it very different. I'm Christian and I'm going to, I'm not going to kneel or wear a t-shirt. Skip, the problem that I have is that he used religion because you have to ask yourself in a situation like this, what would Jesus do? There were people I told you what, what I think Jesus would exactly. do. Exactly. He would have been out there marching, protesting, sitting in the streets. He, he couldn't he do everything. He couldn't be everywhere at mm -hmm. once. No, but he would. He but, would when, but when people were needed, he was there. And if he'd been in the bubble, he would have knelt. That's, what That's I all believe. I'm saying. Okay, let's go to Greg Popovich. Okay. <sighs> Remember, graduated from Air Force Academy, mm -hmm. did his five-year stint in the Air Force, considered going into the CIA, so his roots are deep in the military. Correct. Okay? 
and he has been consistently scathing in his criticism of our president, correct? correct? Yes. And he's been consistently extremely supportive of Black Lives Matter. From, from the jump. Okay. Uh, I make a quick uh, aside comment here on Greg Popovich. The irony is sometimes I think he's more like our president than he would like to be <laughs> because he can be a bully in media, yeah. especially um, reporters who ask, but, but especially post-game, when they ask fair and objective questions, he shames them just the way our president <laughs> shames people in press conferences. And then it appears that Coach Popovich was not good with Colin Kaepernick kneeling because he just basically said he, he wouldn't say why, but it was clear it was because of his military background, the way he looks at that mm -hmm. flag. That's one line you don't cross. Right. So, so I'm pretty sure Coach Popovich was not good mm -hmm. with Colin Kaepernick protesting that way. Right. Okay? Just for the record. Okay. And you can take it or you can leave it, okay. which brings us to Myers Leonard. And he was the first to admit, I'm a basket case. I'm a zombie right now. I haven't slept over this. I think he really wrestled with it. He said so he talked I. to family members and to Navy SEALs that he knows. Mm -hmm. Not those Navy right. SEALs that had those attack dogs and the guy had the Colin Kaepernick jersey on no, and he no, had no. four dogs. Not no, those guys. Okay. okay. But go ahead, Skip. You know. Could be. Okay. I don't know. But... He said that you can be a patriot and support Black Lives Matter, too. And this has been another issue that you've had issues with. Mm -hmm. Because, well, what, what, are they, they can't go hand in hand. Right. And, and he's like, they're mutually exclusive. So he wore a Black Lives Matter T-shirt, mm -hmm. but said, no, I can't do that. Right. I can't kneel because that's, I don't kneel during right. our national anthem. Right. Again, you've had issues with that before. Because, Skip, it's almost yeah. like if you're kneeling, you're taking, you're protesting the military. You're kneeling, you're protesting the flag. You're kneeling, uh, mm -hmm. is the, the, the Bible is that, and my thing is with, with the Bible is that people cherry pick it, parts of the Bible yep. to suit the cause at the time in which they're talking about and say, see, here it is right here in the Bible, right mm -hmm. there in black and white. There's but much to cherry pick yeah, in the Old Testament. Exactly. Yes. And a lot of people mm -hmm. cherry pick different parts of the Bible mm -hmm. to accentuate, because Skip, remember they use that. Blacks and whites were not supposed to be together. That's what they said in Jim mm -hmm. Crow. That's why they tried to keep, well, it started okay. in, in slavery, but that's what they used to try to keep blacks and whites from being together. You're not supposed to be in the same classroom, the same neighborhoods, and you're definitely not supposed to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Although Mr. Tom was sneaking in the cabin for years and hundreds of years before then. But that's a different story. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that on another show, Skip. So with that being said, and not a military. Skip, they, people don't realize the military didn't become desegregated until 1948. Harry Truman signed an executive order, 9981. So prior to that, Skip, I could go fight for the country. I got you. But I got to die with my own black brother, even though we fighting for the same thing, the freedoms. Mm -hmm. But when I come back, guess where I'm going, Skip? I fought for freedom in Germany for people so we could have freedom around the world. But when I come back, I'm going right to the back of the bus. Yep. Damn, I can't even go in this restaurant after I gave you my life. I can't even go in this restaurant. Okay. So people need to, Skip, look, I don't have a problem. But just, you know, guys, I just have my personal reasons. Don't expand on it. Because it looks, it looks ridiculous. It, it makes it seem as if them, the players that are taking a knee, they're protesting the military. The military don't own the flag, mm -mm. and the, the, the flag, it, it, when the flag, rep and, and what those players are basically saying, when that flag represents everything, what it said it was going to be. But I said, Skip, the flag represented exactly what it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. They say, well, all men are created equal, where there was no women and there was no blacks in mm -hmm. the writing of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. So it was red. So when they say all men. All white men are created equal. The Constitution, America, is, ex is a running exactly mm -hmm. how our founding fathers intended it to run. Mm -hmm. Nothing more, nothing less. So stop this notion. Okay. I can't believe America is like this. Yes, you can, because America was set up to be just like this.